Hey, what's up everyone? It's Josh here from Keep It Techie, where I help people learn Linux and break into tech one command at a time. And today we're checking out something a lot of you have been waiting for, and that's Zorin OS 18. This is the brand new release that dropped right as Windows 10 reached end of life, leaving millions of PCs behind. So yeah, timing couldn't be better for a distro like this. And if you've been thinking about switching from Windows or you just want a polished modern desktop Linux experience, you're going to want to stick around for this one. And before we jump in, go ahead and hit that like button so more people can discover Linux content like this and subscribe if you enjoy these breakdowns. So first off, what is Zorin OS and why does it keep showing up on best Windows alternative list year after year? Zorin is a Linux distribution based on Ubuntu LTS built by an independent team out of Dublin, Ireland. They started back in 2008 with one simple mission, make Linux accessible for everyday computer users, especially people coming from Windows. Now fast forward to now, Zorin OS 18 represents one of the biggest leaps the project has ever made. The team calls it a huge leap forward. And after testing it, I can see why. And let me go through some highlights of what's new. Zorin OS 18 debates a refreshed desktop design. It's clean, rounded, and visually smoother than before. The default theme feels lighter, and the panel now has this subtle floating look that makes the whole interface feel more modern. Apps like files, settings, and calendars all got upgrades. They're simpler, easier to navigate, and fits together nicely with the rest of the desktop. Even the camera app got replaced with a cleaner, more modern one. You could tell they really obsessed over design details here. Nothing feels thrown together. Everything looks consistent. Next up, I noticed advanced window tiling. If you've ever used fancy zones on Windows Power Toys or the tiling options in Pop! OS, you'll appreciate this. Zorin OS 18 introduces an intuitive tiling manager. Just drag a window to the top of the screen and choose your layout. No crazy shortcuts to remember, it just works. And you can even make your own layout or turn on auto tiling if you like more of a dynamic setup. One of my favorite features is the new web app tool. You can turn any website into a desktop app with a couple clicks. One Outlook or Google Docs right in your app menu? Easy. It feels native. The icon shows up in your menu. They open in their own window and you can pick which browser engine to use. This bridges that gap between cloud apps and desktop apps. And it's a big win for folks transitioning from Windows 365 or Google Workspace. Now Zorin OS 18 now includes Microsoft 365 plus OneDrive integration directly in settings under your online accounts. So once you're logged in, your OneDrive files show up right inside the files app. That's huge for Windows switchers. So it's no extra setup, no third party sync tools. You just good to go. And Zorin also expanded its Windows app detection system. It's now recognizing over 170 Windows installers and points you to native or web alternatives when possible. So if you try to install Office or Photoshop, Zorin will say, hey, here's the best way to use that or here's a open source option. It's a great way to onboard new Linux users without them getting lost. Now Zorin OS Core comes with a few solid layout options, but if you spring for Zorin OS Pro, you unlock 12 total layouts, including new ones inspired by Linux Mint and Elementary OS. You can switch between them instantly, one click, and your desktop transform. It's perfect for anyone who wants that familiar workflow right out of the gate. And for theming fans, there are two new accent colors. You have yellow and brown, plus the usual light dark combos. Little details, but they add up to more personal feel. Now Zorin OS 18 uses the latest Linux kernel from Ubuntu 22.04 LTS with Pipewire enabled by default for better audio and Bluetooth performance. It's noticeably faster, especially on older hardware. And of course, it includes Wine 10 for running more Windows apps and games, plus updated drivers and firmware support. 
so newer laptops and peripherals just work. Now, Zorn OS Core will get security and software updates through 2029, which makes it solid for both home and business use. And just to mention them briefly, the Education Edition adds learning tools like Turbo Warp, Gradebook, and Spedred for students. The Pro Edition includes productivity apps like Deskflow, Warp, and Easy Effects for creative pros and freelancers. But the Core Edition we're focusing on today is completely free and it gives you the same polished desktop experience with all the essentials. So with the overview out of the way, let's go down and walk through the installation of Zorn OS 18. And then I'll come back with my thoughts. All right, so let's quickly go through the install. And so the first thing you want to do is select your language over here on the left. So we're going to go English, hit continue, and then select your keyboard layout. Super simple. And then you typically have the download updates while installing, but for some reason, I'm not connected to the internet. I believe I messed up the network connection when I set up this virtual machine, but I don't need it to install. So we could just roll with just installing third party. That's fine. And we want participate in the census and then erase the disk. That's fine. But you do have those options in there to manually set up the disk however you want to. We can hit continue there. Select your location. I'm in Los Angeles. Go to set up our account. So Josh, I'm gonna just name it Zorin. And then let's go down and type in a super strong password. Not really, according to that, it says fair. Require password to log in, that's cool. Hit continue and boom, we'll just Wait for this to install and I'll be back when it comes back up. All right, so the installation is complete. All you have to do is hit restart now and we'll play around with it a little bit once it comes back. All right, so the install is done and the first thing that'll pop up is the tour. Basically says, welcome to Zoom S18. Hi there, take a tour to learn your way and discover essential features. So let's just go through it right fast. So this is how you launch all your applications. So over here, boom, hit store next. You can choose your desktop look and Zorn appearance. So let's click there. That way you guys can see it. So you got your different windows set setups and then you can upgrade to Zorn OS Pro and you have a little bit more options. This one looks like Windows 11, which is dope. Now let's click on this one right fast. I like this one right here. This was makes the bar a little smaller and then you can go into the themes. You can change it to a dark theme or something. Effects, animation is automatically enabled. You can turn on jelly. That way it makes the windows kind of jelly. I'm going to turn that off. You can turn on the desktop cube, which I'm not going to do because this is a virtual machine. It'll probably go a little crazy to see desktop environment or desktop. You got a couple options there. You can add your icons on the desktop, all that good stuff. Window options, interface, and then font sizes and all that stuff. I'm going to go down and close that. We're going to roll with this. So let's hit next. Now it says right here, it recognized that I'm in a virtual machine like it's done in the past and that will affect speed so you guys should know that and then also you can connect to your online services we're not going to skip that but you can launch your zorin connect that way you can connect to your phone if you need to learn more about installing applications this will launch the software center let's go down and open it up right fast so you guys can see it and then we'll go next to the tour and that's pretty much it this will take you to the help page it'll actually open up the browser i believe which the default browser is brave browser which is Super dope. Let's go down and close our tour, but it should open up our help in a couple seconds. But this allows you to run all your updates up in here. All your this shows you your installed applications, and then you can explore all the applications in here. And it's broken up by different categories and all that good stuff. And you can also search right here. So anything you need, you can install from their repository. Man, looks like that help didn't come up, but it is what it is. Oh, looks like it is. There it is help.zorn.com. I knew it was supposed to pull it up. So yeah, it'll basically take you to their documentation and you can go through and get help how to install system requirements, upgrades. You can search for specific articles on their site and all that good stuff. And that's awesome that Brave is their default browser. I really like Brave. Brave is my go-to for any distro that I'm using. I have Brave installed. Now let's go through and look at a few other applications that we got in here. So it's accessories. There we go. Graphics, what we got. So we got an image viewer, Libre Draw, the internet, we got Brave, Romani. That's the web app that I was talking about. You can create your web apps and you can put your addresses in there. You can put the name, obviously, and then the web address, the app name or the app description, then the icon, 
and then this is a web app or internet game whatever brave browser specify the browser that you want you can change it if you have other browsers that you want to open it up in and parameters if you have some parameters isolate profile and you can also open things up in private or incognito window which is cool and so this is what i was talking about earlier you can create those web apps now let's go back to under here let's see under office there we go we got our office installed so libre office sound we got camera we got visorio let's open up the camera app right fast and it's not gonna find a camera but just wanted to at least open it up for you guys so you guys can see it but system tools let's go to system monitor right fast and then also let's go under our stored up applications too i just wanted to look at that as well ssh is enabled stored up sound you can turn that on it's not on there or your process is running on the system the resources a file system so that makes it super simple. It's like opening up your system resources or task manager in Windows. Now on the right, you got your calendar, notifications, all that good stuff. Your shutdown over here, lock, your settings. You can get into your settings there. They also have a screenshot button up in here, right here. You screenshot, uh, which is super simple. You got your volume, your internet connection. Also, I fixed my internet connection. I just didn't select the right hardware. When I set up the virtual machine, I figured that's what it was. Uh, and so I, I grabbed all my updates for the system after that. And then you got other options in here, like power management. You can modify your style, your theme style. And you can go in here and mess with your appearance and pretty much all your settings under here as well. Let's go down and close that. But I also want to look at the file explorer to show you guys how clean it looks. I like the icon pack. That looks cool. And then also I wanted to go to the terminal under utilities it should be under here boom and let's check out the kernel version so let's go you name dash or or dash a uh, let's see what we got so 6.14.033 uh, and as you can see it says you want to in there and let's see if we have an htop on here which htop yeah that's not installed let's see if we got neo fetch and it looks like we don't have that either so let's go to install neo fetch so sudo apt install neo Fetch. all right so that's installed let's go on and let's see neo fetch let's go and check that out right fast see what we got and the reason i try to show this every single time because you guys can pull a lot of this for your current distro so if you're using a different distro and you want this look that they have you can get the window manager they're using mutter they are also using a uh, gnome 46 that lets you know that they have the zorn blue dark window manager theme the zorn blue dark gtk theme the Zorn Blue Dark icon theme, the GNOME terminal theme. It allows you to search for those theme packs and you can install them on whatever distro you're on. You know what I'm saying? Super cool. So that's why I like to show this. You can find what people are using and you can apply that to your distro as well. Because most of the time, it's, if it's a GNOME setup, you can install it as well on, on whatever version or distro you're using. So anyway, that's all I wanted to show you guys on Zorn. All right, so after spending some time running Zorn OS 18 core, here are my honest impressions. It's easily one of the most polished Linux desktops out there. Everything feels deliberate from how windows open centered on the screen to how animations or time just right. Zorn has always been about design harmony and version 18 nails that balance between professional and approachable. It's also super snappy, even on modest hardware. I tested it on an older i5 laptop and a VM inside of my Proxmox environment. Both ran smooth with minimal lag. The system idles at low resource usage, which makes it a real contender for breathing life into older Windows 10 machines. Now, for anyone moving from Windows, Zorn is hands down one of the easiest transitions you'll find. The menu, taskbar, and settings are laid out in a way that just makes sense. The new OneDrive integration also removes one of the biggest pain points cloud file access now the web apps that's probably my favorite new feature it makes hybrid workflows i can have microsoft teams google docs or even canva running as apps 
without opening the browser each time. Also, the floating panel and rounded leg gives off a modern GNOME 46 style vibe, but with Zorn's custom touch. It looks better than many commercial operating systems, honestly. Now, a few areas where I think Zorn could still improve. For instance, the software version. Because it's built on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS, you're not getting bleeding edge software out of the box. That's fine for stability, but if you want the latest GNOME apps or kernel, you might need PPAs or flat packs. Now, some of the more advanced layouts and theme packs are locked behind the Pro Edition. I get it. That's how they fund development, but power users might wish those were part of the free tier. So the customization is limited in core. Now, one thing I noticed when I was running it on my physical hardware, the software center can still feel sluggish when updating or browsing, especially compared to newer front ends like KDE Discover or GNOME software on Fedora. And finally, Wine support is improved, but not perfect. If you rely on specific Windows software, you may still need to tinker a bit. Now, who would I recommend Zorn OS? 18.4. I believe it's perfect for Windows 10 users whose PC can't run Windows 11. Also students or home users who want something stable and intuitive. I would also recommend it to small businesses or nonprofits who want long-term support and minimal setup headaches. And if you're a developer or a Linux power user, you might lean towards distros like Fedora or Pop OS. But for general users, Zorin OS 18 hits the sweet spot between elegance, simplicity, and reliability. All right, y'all, that's my look on Zorin OS 18 core. If you're thinking about switching from Windows, this distro makes it easier than ever. You don't have to buy a new computer. You don't have to fight with weird driver issues. Just download Zorin OS 18, install it, and start exploring. It's a reminder that Linux isn't just for developers or system admins anymore. It's for everyone. If you enjoyed this breakdown, go on and hit that like button, drop a comment, let me know what distro you're currently running, and subscribe so you don't miss the next Linux review. And as always, thanks for watching Keep It Techie, and remember, you don't have to be a tech expert to start learning tech. Just take it one command at a time. Peace. Yo, what's up, y'all? Listen, if you've been sitting there thinking about making a move, let me tell you, tech is where it's at. I don't care where you're coming from, whether you've got a degree, a GED, or just pure hustle. There's room for you in this game. You see, tech is more than just keyboards and code. It's solving problems, creating opportunities, and building the future. You already have what it takes because tech doesn't care where you start. It cares where you're willing to go. You can teach yourself Linux, learn Python, break into cybersecurity, or even launch your own app. And the resources are out here for free. And yes, you heard me, free. Now, yeah, it's gonna take effort. You'll have to grind, but think about this. The time is gonna pass anyway. So why not invest it in a skill that'll change your life? I mean, tech doesn't just pay the bills. It opens doors to freedom, stability, and generational wealth. So stop doubting yourself, store small, stay consistent, and keep building. Because this isn't just a career, it's a movement. And guess what? You belong here. So let's get it, because the future is yours to build. Keep it tech.